Hey everyone, welcome back to my programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you, how to do, sentiment analysis using Python 3. Please be sure to drop a like on this tutorial, and subscribe to my channel. Let's set a goal of 50 likes for this video. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will use text blob library for sentiment analysis. We will also use emojis, to express the emotions. This program will be based on artificial intelligence, since we will not be manually programming computer, to analyze the sentiment. We will first, need to install the text blob and emoji library. To install them, open command prompt window, and type, pip, install, text blob then press enter. Same procedure goes for the emoji library. Type, pip, install, emoji, then press enter. Once you've installed those libraries, open your IDE, then, you are good to follow along. We will start by importing the libraries. Import, text blob, and, emoji library. Now, we will ask the user, for some input, and, we will store it in a variable. In another variable, we will initialize the text blob library, by passing the user input to it. Using the text blob.sentiment method, we will analyze, the polarity of the given input. Polarity, can simply be defined as, the state of having two opposite tendencies. Hence, polarity of input will be, whether it is positive, negative, or neutral. To do this, type, text.sentiment.polarity, where text is a variable, declared above. We will store this, in a variable, say x, which we will use, to print the results. Now, we will check, how our program is doing so far. We will print the value, of the x variable. On its first launch, it may take, a minute or two, to load. You can try typing some sentence, as an example, in order to check the program. As you can see, it is correctly detecting the sentiments behind these sentences. A negative value means, the sentence is negative, while a positive value means, the sentence is positive. A value of zero, indicates that, the sentence is neutral. Cool. Let's get into the remaining part. Based on the previous observations, we will print the polarity of sentence with the emojis, using if, and elif conditions. If x is lesser than zero, we will print, the sentence is negative, with disappointed face emoji.
Similarly, if x is greater than 0, and lesser than equal to 1, we will print, the sentence is positive, with grinning face emoji. We will also print, the sentence is neutral, with neutral face emoji, if x is equal to 0. To print the emojis, we use emoji dot, emojis method. If you wish to use other emojis, I will link the cheat sheet to emojis in the description. It contains various codes for different emojis. But, make sure your IDE supports, UCS2 Unicode codec, otherwise, it will throw an error. Idle doesn't support this codec, so, I will not be printing emojis. Let's run this program. As expected, the program is doing its job very well. Perfect. So, time to end the video here. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you, next time.